Hello everyone, welcome back to MediLab Health. Today, we're exploring a topic that's crucial for our health, the types and functions of white blood cells. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. All right, let's begin. To understand the importance of white blood cells, we first need to know what they are. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are a crucial part of our immune system. They are called white because they lack the red pigment hemoglobin that gives red blood cells their color. Your white blood cells account for only about 1% of your blood, but their impact is big. They protect you against illness and disease. Think of white blood cells as your immunity cells. In a sense, they are always at war. They flow through your bloodstream to fight viruses, bacteria, and other foreign invaders that threaten your health. When your body is in distress and a particular area is under attack, white blood cells rush in to help destroy the harmful substance and prevent illness. White blood cells are made in the bone marrow. They are stored in your blood and lymph tissues. Because some white blood cells called neutrophils have a short life of less than a day, your bone marrow is always making them. There are five main types of WBC, they are neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils and basophils. Neutrophils make up roughly half of the white blood cell population. They are usually the first cells of the immune system to respond to invaders such as bacteria or viruses. As first responders, they also send out signals alerting other cells in the immune system to come to the scene. Neutrophils are the main cells found in pus. Once released from the bone marrow, these cells live for only around 8 hours. Your body produces roughly 100 billion of these cells every day. Eosinophils also play a role in fighting off bacteria. They are very important in responding to parasitic infections as well. They are perhaps best known for their role in triggering allergy symptoms. Eosinophils can go overboard in mounting an immune response against something harmless. For example, eosinophils mistake pollen for a foreign invader. Eosinophils account for no more than 5% of the white blood cells in your bloodstream. However, there are high concentrations of eosinophils in the digestive tract. Lymphocytes are also essential in the immune system. They come in two forms, B cells and T cells. Unlike other white blood cells that provide non-specific immunity, B and T cells have specific purposes. B lymphocytes are responsible for humoral immunity, which is the immune response that involves antibodies. B cells produce the antibodies that, remember, an infection. They stand ready in case your body is exposed to that pathogen again. T cells recognize specific foreign invaders and are responsible for directly killing them. Memory, T cells also remember an invader after an infection and respond quickly if it is seen again. B lymphocytes play a key role in the effectiveness of many current vaccines. In some cases, such as tuberculosis and pertussis vaccines, T lymphocytes are the main players. Basophils account for only around 1% of white blood cells. These cells are perhaps best known for their role in asthma. However, they are important in mounting a non-specific immune response to pathogens, organisms that can cause disease. When stimulated, these cells release histamine, among other chemicals. This can result in inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Monocytes are the garbage trucks of the immune system. Around 5% to 12% of white blood cells in your bloodstream are monocytes. Their most important function is to clean up dead cells in the body. These cells collectively form a robust defense mechanism that helps keep us healthy and infection-free. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or want us to explore more topics, please leave a comment below. Stay healthy and keep exploring. Bye for now.